Hey everyone, it's me again, Israel Ibukun Otoyijamu, the founder and CEO of uh, Point Love Studio. Uh, right now, I'll be talking about and I'll be teaching you how to generate sitemap page for your WordPress website. Now, this is important, not just for your site, but also for your users and Google. By default, when someone gets to your site, they want to, they have things in mind and they want to make sure they can find it as fast as possible and this is why we this is why we have the sitemap page on our website so sitemap page helps people to navigate through your site and get to see whatever they are looking for it is and google likes this in short to get approval for google adsense you would need to have your sitemap page otherwise they don't approve your site for adsense and then um, you know what that means we may be able to monetize your site your site so the sitemap page is not just important for for business websites it's also important for google adsense it's important for users it's important for bloggers to use it helps google understand what your website is all about what your contents are and where they are so stay tuned so very quickly i'll be talking about how to create a sitemap page for your wordpress website how to create a sitemap page for your wordpress website so first of all uh, all you need to do is you have to go to your website for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be using one of our websites called um, printlabstudio.co printlabstudio.co so the first thing you will do is to go to the menu you go to your dashboard let's start from the dashboard now to create a sitemap page you would need to create the page first you need to have the page let's add new so we call it um let's call it sitemap sitemap and save so we're gonna save this page now after saving the page you need to go to your plugins go to plugins then you search you add new then there is a, there is a free plugin for creating the HTML sitemap page. What you need to do now is you need to search for the name of the plugin, which is um, let's say sitemap. Sitemap. So you scroll down. There is a particular plugin that helps in creating the sitemap page for your WordPress website. But as you can see, there are lots of plugins that talk about sitemap. Now, these sitemaps here are basically for search, con search console, Google, Bing, and all. They help you generate XML, um, uh, XML um, link for your search console and um, analytics and uh, for your webmaster accounts on Bing, Yandex, and Google. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we are talking about um, creating a sitemap page for your website so that when people get to your site they can easily go there and see all the all the pages on your site pages categories and everything on the site without having issues or trouble so now we are looking for okay this is the plugin so we're looking for this plugin wp sitemap page all you need to do is install the plugin and activate So, after activating the plugin, you need to look for the plugin. Where is it? Sitemap page. Now, this the plugin has works with this with this um, short code, and we are going to use the short code right now. All you need to do is copy this short code. Copy the short code, then go to the page you created.
and add um, where's the page sitemap so you go to the page and add the sort code to the page add the sort code to the page and save now let's let's click on the on this link to see the page and see how it, how it works or explain if it has worked or not as you can see this is a sitemap page and we have all the pages post by categories templates portfolios and all so all the links on the site are already highlighted and they are at least they are very good for navigation so that any user a new user can come to the site and instead of searching through taking time to get to know your pages and all they can just come straight to the site to this sitemap page and figure out where they are going to and this is important for google google likes it in short for you to get approval for google adsense to monetize your platform with um, google adsense and so big advertising companies you would need this sitemap page it is very important now the the thing is you look at the footer we don't have it in the footer so the question is how do we add this sitemap page to the footer we need to add it to the footer so that it will be easy for navigator once your users get to your platform they would be able to they will be able to see the sitemap page with ease now let's do that and that will be the that will be the last um, task for today let's do that right away so now you go to menu you go to menu uh, appearance menu and don't forget we already have some footer menu for example i have like footer menu one two three so all i need to do right now is to decide which of the menu i would, I would love to add the the sitemap page so i've clicked on footer one let's add it to footer one and this is sitemap page then add to menu in my next tutorial i'll be talking about how to create menu so that because uh, you would understand how these menus are generated and how you can add um, a menu to your footer many persons have asked me um, questions on how to add how to create menu and how to add them to footer they are used to adding menu to the top of your, their website so i think they have issues with adding menu to the footer of the website but with my next tutorial my next video you would be able to figure out how to create a new menu and how to add it to the footer so now i've added the sitemap page to this menu all i have to do right now is save and then um, based on the fact that we already have the the footer menu created all we have to do right now is go to the, to the front page and see what it looks like and if it's there in lab studio.co let's go down and that's this so that is the sitemap page so anyone that comes to your site right now would find it easy to navigate to the sitemap page and navigate all through your site without stress or having to contact you so uh, let's check it and um, and that is it that's side my page so uh, right now i think that's all for this um tutorial if you like our videos and you want more of it you can drop your comments below and um, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification so that anytime we drop our videos you would be the first to get it thank you and have a great day bye